Hello and welcome, it's your boy Jack here to do another reaction video. This time I'm going to be reacting to one of my favorite rappers out from South America, and that is Can Sabero. Unfortunately, you all know he passed away, so that's a tragedy. You cannot explain how, how, you know, it's just one massive ball of tragedy that he's not around to actually continue and deliver such socially conscious music and so he, it's he's just absolutely fantastic I, I really applaud you guys to, I really implore you guys to actually listen to him those of you who have had the chance to do so go check his top stuff out it's absolutely amazing so with that said obviously I'm here to do another track from him and the title is Lay down here, hello, hello. I'm sorry. Uh, it's basically it's called cold shoulder. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but yes, that's what we'll be reacting to, Cancerbero. And as I said, the lay down hello, hello, which is the cold shoulder. <laughs> Our direct translation is ice law, <laughs> which is, yeah, never mind. I was just kidding. That's a being translation but yes it's called the cold shoulder so obviously this is actually a music uh a lyric video which is fine i'm hoping that the translation is up to snuff and we can actually enjoy another absolutely wondrous track from the one and only ken Sabaro. so without further ado let's get this reactive party started obviously i will be pausing so just so you guys know pausing throughout the entire track to try to you know i'm yeah to actually understand what's going on so please if you're not into that i'm warning you might as well just check out the lyric video and you know yeah okay <laughs> with that said let's get this reacting party started this is ken Sabero, and the track we'll be reacting to is cold shoulder lay del hielo i know bad bad spanish it's me speaker Desearte la muerte, aquella vez que en un regaño me pellizcaste muy fuerte. Prometo hacer mis tareas y obedecerte, pero no me asustes más. ¿Dónde estás? Deja de esconderte. Y el contra no va a estar. Wait, um, I'm a little bit confused. Is he talking about his mom or is he talking about someone else? Uh, the homework part kind of got me confused there. I thought, I promise to do my homework and obey you, but do not scare me anymore. Where are you? Stop hiding. Is he talking about. I guess maybe he might be talking about multiple members or multiple individuals in in his life. Okay, I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna start from the beginning again and see if I could actually follow, if I understand, if the thought in my head is actually where the song is. It's hide and seek game. I like what he's doing in that. It sort of reminds me of a hide and seek game. You count to a certain number that you have to try to catch the person. Obviously, he's having issues, problems trying to do so. And I guess it could tie it in, you know, in relationships. I'm not sure if that's what he's talking about, but that's what I'm actually 
trying to um, decipher from here it's that he's in a relationship there's a problem but he's pretending that there isn't a problem by closing his eye and then when he tries to figure out find out what, when he tries to stop it or find out or figure out what it is he falls short in that and then things just escalate and it doesn't really end well so i don't know i guess that's what i'm getting from this it might be wrong this is just my first impression of it Acaso en la ley de hielo, si es así prometo no pelear de nuevo y hacer mis deberes, por favor dime que me quieres. I still think he's talking about his mom or something like that, uh, the way he was, you know, acting up in order to gain attention and stuff like that, or his some, whoever is taking care of him, that's what I should say. He's talking about whoever is taking care of him and how he was really, you know, always doing certain things in order to get attention and, you know have this person that he looks up to say that they love him. No pararé de hacer berrinches tirado en el suelo. Perdón por desearte la muerte. Aquella vez que en un regaño me pellizcaste muy fuerte. Prometo hacer mis tareas y obedecerte, pero no me asustes más donde estás, deja de esconderte. Y el conte no bastante, no te encuentro más de este juego. Más de este juego, más de este juego. Cierro los ojos y allí estás, no se abre, no tengo que estoy ciego. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm guessing yes. He's basically talking about his upbringing and the things he did and how his family life, everything around him was sort of effective. His dad, obviously his mom, and I'm still not quite sure about whether his mom is alive or dead during this time. It's a little bit puzzling, but I mean, it's like the cold shoulder, but it's trying to get her attention, but she's not responding, she's not talking, it's like, it's like he's seeing things that are actually there, but I might be, I don't know. That's, it's a very interesting, interesting song. He says, I'm sick, even though I do not feel any pain. So it's like, it's, um, I guess it's in his head. Okay. All right, that was Cantavero, and the track we just watched is titled "Cold Shoulder," which is Ledel Helio. Um, obviously, it's the thing about Cantavero is that his his lyrics are very poetic, and sometimes. 
I'm not saying it's actually his, it's probably mine because sometimes it's really hard to actually decipher what he's actually trying to convey in a language. I mean, I did an entire track and I completely misread his intention with that and he talked to, and it ended up like he was actually talking about sex, which was actually kind of his interest uh, historical when I actually figured that out. Actually, I didn't. I had someone actually left it in the comments below to actually inform me about that. Then I went back to listen to that track and I was like, oh yeah, obviously, in hindsight, yes, that's what he was talking about. So yeah, it's very poetic, very poetic, and sometimes it takes, it needs more than one listening to actually get what's actually being said. Uh, or maybe you have to also be in the right frame of mind to actually, you know, deep delve into what he's actually trying to convey to to you so yeah that was Cancerbero and that track was interesting and as I said I think I figured out towards halfway through that he's actually talking about his upbringing and how things were and why he is the way he is and how he got to where he is as a direct result of the things that were happening around him and how it sort of felt a bit like he was living in this really weird fantasy distorted reality where things are not really what they seem to be i know that's what i'm guessing from this track so i may be wrong i might not even be remotely close to that but yes i feel as though the fact that he's trying to understand what's happening trying to figure out why this person who apparently he looks up to doesn't really sort of love him, or at least in his own head, he doesn't feel the love coming from them and stuff like that, is a testament of how distorted their, his reality or the reality that he was experiencing is, or maybe that's actual reality for him. So, again, as I said, poetry, very well done, very interesting, and his play of word in with words and how it sort of transcends what this linear is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Not a lot of artists actually are able to do that, so that is always great. That's part of the reason why I really enjoy his stuff. It's layered, layered rap, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. All right, with that said, this is your boy, Jack. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button. Let's you know when next I drop a new video. Don't forget to leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to react to. If you've got nothing to say, just say, hey, that's absolutely okay. If you disagree with something I've said during this reaction video, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments down below. All I ask is that you be constructive about it. And if you wish to actually add more, expand whatever on what I've said, please do the same. Comments down below. A constructive. Absolutely fantastic. Would make things move smoothly so with that said this is your boy jack and i guess i should thank moro chito 760 yes that was from your link i thank you for putting the links over there and thank you for pointing me to the right video thank you for that this was fantastic and i hope you enjoyed this reaction video and all of you get other fans out there all right y'all take care